Welcome to the football in-season training video number three. As we are approaching the middle of the season, make sure that we are being consistent and persistent with our play calling, especially as it relates to risk minimization fouls. Today's video is going to focus strictly on the kicking game. I want to personally thank the Illinois High School Association for their willingness to share clips of plays from their state. Let's get started. Kicking plays often result in exciting and momentum shifting opportunities for one team or the other. Kicking plays can also provide some very unique situations that force officials to know the depths of the rule book and case book and make decisions on plays that they might only see once every couple of years or possibly once in a career. High School Football Rule 8-5-3 reads, when a free kick or scrimmage kick goes into the end zone, the ball is dead and results in a touchback. On this play, R catches the ball in the end zone and runs the ball out to the 9-yard line. That should never have happened. When the kick went into the end zone, the ball was dead and should have been ruled a touchback. On this play, the kick goes into the end zone and the return team runs it out to the 12-yard line. That should never have happened. When the kick went into the end zone, the ball was dead and should have been ruled a touchback. The officials did discuss this play and ended up making the correct call. The offense took possession, first and 10, at the 20-yard line. Here's a similar play with a twist. R unintentionally forces the ball into the end zone when the player muffs the grounded kick. He then picks up the ball and runs it out of the end zone. Rule 2134 says force is not a factor on kicks going into Team R's end zone. Since these kicks are always a touchback, regardless of who supplied the force, this play should have resulted in a touchback. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Blocking below the waist is only legal when all players involved in the blocking are on the line of scrimmage and in the free blocking zone at the snap. The contact is in the free blocking zone and the block is an immediate initial action following the snap. Therefore, a block below the waist on a kickoff is not legal. The penalty is 15 yards from the spot of the foul. This is a well-executed free kick and seems to be a key momentum-changing play by the kicking team, but it's not a legal play in high school football. Rule 6-1 covers kickoffs and other free kicks. It says that the kicking team must have at least four players on each side of the kicker and that no player on the kicking team except the kicker may be more than five yards behind the free kick line. The formation on this free kick is legal. However, Rule 616 reads, any player on the kicking team may recover the free kick if it has touched the ground and has traveled beyond the receiving team's free kick line, in this case, the 50-yard line. The reason this play is not legal is that the kicking team player touched the ball before it touched the ground. It's a 15-yard penalty for kick-catching interference. The receiving team can accept the penalty and take possession 15 yards from the spot of the foul, or it can accept a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot and replay the down. This play shows a legal onside kick. The kicking team has at least four players on each side of the kicker, and no player is more than five yards behind the free kick line. The kick touches the ground and goes exactly 10 yards when number 81 makes a fantastic effort to recover the ball for his team. The team in white will take possession, first and 10, just on the other side of the 50-yard line. Rule 6-2 covers scrimmage kicks. Very unique play here. The punt goes straight up and hits the punter in the head while he is still behind the neutral zone. The ball then crosses the neutral zone, and R4 recovers the ball. The officials blow the whistle and stop the play, but they shouldn't have. The ball is still alive, and although the punter contacted the ball twice behind the neutral zone, the receiving team can still advance the ball. Here we have the offense punting from its own end zone. The defense breaks through and blocks the kick. The ball then goes out of bounds out the side of the end zone. This play results in a safety. Two points for Team B. Team A will put the ball in play with a free kick from its own 20-yard line. We are approaching weeks number four and five for the season, the halfway point. 
I strongly encourage you to seek constant improvement as you progress through the season. Work hard, work together, and be professional with your duties as an official. Good luck with the next two weeks.